Okay, um, today we are going to concentrate on making what is an iconic um, dessert, um, a trifle. I mean, this is a classic trifle. And I don't know, I'm not sure where I got this um, idea from or where, how I got this recipe together um, or this technique, but it must have been from my mum um, because when I was a child, she used to make trifle all the time, she always did it this way, and I always do it this way. Um, it's not the only way to make a trifle. It might not be the best way to make a trifle, but it's my way to make a trifle. Um, and it works pretty well, and it's absolutely delicious. Um, so I've got most of the ingredients I need over here in the bowl. We're gonna start with um, making some custard, okay? So you just get some normal custard, follow the instructions on the tin, and make it exactly as it says. And some jelly, okay? I'm using strawberry jelly, um, and we're going to make that up exactly as it says on the packet. Okay, but what we don't want to happen here is you don't want to get a skin on it. And there's a technique that you can use um, to stop that skin from forming. And we're going to make something called a cartouche, um, which is a French term and it means scroll uh, of some sort. But in cooking terminology, a cartouche is a piece of um, greaseproof paper that's um, fitted into the actual bowl um, while the, the custard cools down. And so we're going to show you quickly how to make one of them. We can wrap that on our custard and we can get the rest of it done. Okay, so what you want is a nice piece of um, greaseproof paper or kitchen parchment of some sort, and just a bowl of something round that's bigger than the actual pan um, we're going to use it on. What we just need to do is to cut a kind of a roundish shape out, okay? And we may have to go round that now with scissors. There we are. So what you want to do now is to take this and fold it in half, half again, and half again. So you've got yourself a shape like that. With your scissors now, just cut it down the edges, just not too much, just a, a few snips, like so. And when we open it back up, We've got that. Okay, so with your hot custard pan, take your cartouche, and what you want to do is just to form that into the middle of the pan so that it there we are. It goes all into the edges, and with those little slits, that's going to help it sort of fold around it. Make sure there's no air, and that will keep it from forming a skin. Okay, so with our custard cooling down um, nicely with the cartouche on top of it, so we're not going to get a skin, we're going to make up our jelly. Do this as per instructions. And there we are. Um, with our jelly now all dissolved into this boiling water, 
I'm going to leave it cool down um, for a while, okay? Only for about 10, 15 minutes or so, um, just so it's not quite so piping hot. So while that's cooling down, we'll um, get the sponge into the bottom of our trifle dish. So for the sponge, I'm not going to use um, traditional um, sponge fingers. And this is where, I, I don't know where this idea came from, probably my mum, like I said. I'm going to use a Swiss roll, okay? So I've got a strawberry Swiss roll. I'm going to cut these into pieces. And we're going to line, look at that. We're going to line the bottom of this trifle dish with these. You get as many in there as you like. And you can cut them as thick as you like. I don't want them too thick. And then one good one in the middle. And I might get a couple more. And there we go, um, there's one piece left, ready for eating. Hmm. Okay, um, so our jelly has been cooling down now for about 15 minutes or so. Um, it's nowhere near boiling anymore, it's nice and you, know, you can hold on to it, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna tip this jelly uh, all over our Swiss roll base and get that all absorbed into there. So nice and slowly, all over the Swiss roll. There we go. Okay, it will float a little bit, so you can get it all absorbed, push it down. And there we are. So um, at this stage, if you want to add fruit um, to your trifle, now is a good time. Get it into that jelly, into that Swiss roll. Get your layer of fruit on top of that. I'm not going to add fruit only because I'm not a big fruit eater. Daniel isn't. There's no point in putting it in there. Um, but we could put some nice fruit in there now, um, and that would set into the jelly as well. Okay, so uh, that jelly now needs to completely set. Okay, this could take a while, probably take um, a couple of hours. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that into the fridge and let it cool down um, until it's fully set. And by the time that's fully set, our custard, um, which is still resting um, in the pan, will also be cold enough to put over the top. Okay, let's pop this jelly in the fridge and we'll have a sit down. So our jelly has been set in the fridge now. Um, it's been in there for a couple of hours, about two and a half hours. I've just checked it, it's fully set. So we can whip that out, custard's cold, we can get it put together. There he is. Okay, so our custard here, as you can see, um, with the, uh, the, the paper still on it, the parchment still on it, we should be able to lift this parchment off now and there will be no skin and the custard will be nice and smooth. There we go. No skin on there at all. Custard ready to go straight on to the jelly. So with a fork, get that custard mixed up, just to get it all pliable again. And with a nice big spoon, we will just dollop that custard onto there and spread it out so it's even.
And there we are. So as you can see, we have our trifle half ready. We've got two layers now. We have our jelly and um, sponge layer, which we could have had fruit in as well. And we've got our custard layer. There we go. So we're going to pop this back in the fridge and make up the rest of the toppings. So for the next stage um, of the trifle, what we're going to do, um, we're going to make some angel delight, okay? I've got um, some banana angel delight here, you know, one packet, and all you're going to do is you're going to make it up exactly as per instructions. <laughs> for about five minutes to thicken um, and then we'll be able to apply it to the top of our trifle. Okay, so while that Angel Delight is setting, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to beat up some double cream, okay? I'm going to want about 250 mils of this stuff. Uh, so let's measure out about... Well, that's about 250. And get this into a jug. And you can, use, um, you can use an electric whisk if you like, or you can just use a normal wire whisk. I'm just going to use a normal wire whisk, and we're going to beat this until it starts to form peaks. And there we are. So our cream has now formed solid peaks, okay? That's solid. Um, so what we're going to do to this is we're going to add a little bit of sugar just to sweeten it up. There we are, so we've got some caster sugar here. I'm just going to use standard um, sort of dessert spoons. I'm going to pop two dessert spoons of that caster sugar into the cream. And then we're going to mix that in. Beautiful. That is for piping. <laughs> So there we are, our Angel Delight is all set now. We're going to get our trifle and we're just going to top it with this Angel Delight. Get all of that onto there, spread that around. So there we go, um, our trifle has all but one layer on it now, uh, which is our cream. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop that back in the fridge for about um, half an hour, let that angel of the light sort of go a little bit harder, and then we'll pipe that whipped cream on top of it. Okay, so the last stage of our trifle now, we have some strawberries and cream and a piping bag. Put the cream in the piping bag, and we're going to pipe that on top of the trifle. <laughs> 